word, Delta Free. What's going on, everyone? Delta Breeze here, bringing you guys week two of the KPL. The San Antonio Sprites are going to take on Nasty, coach of the Grimston All Reapers. On the screen here, you can see his 11 that he drafted. I'm going to go over his team, a couple of threats that he has, and I'm going to go over my team of six, what I'm bringing, uh, what sets I'm bringing, what items, abilities, all that good stuff. I'm going to go over what I'm bringing, why I'm bringing it. To kick things off, he does have that blaze again, super annoying. Uh, just like last week, man, mixed attackers can put in a lot of work until you realize which kind of set he's bringing, uh, if he's mixed or if he's physical or if he's special. You can't really do anything about it. Um, luckily, he doesn't have speed boost. Speed boost is banned in, in the KPL, so I don't have to worry about that. He's going to be Blaze, um, but his coverage is is crazy. Uh, fire, fighting, uh, ground, rock, ghost, dark, you name it, man. Like he has, he has a great move pool and something that I need to look out for. Luckily, he is limited to just four moves, so uh, let's see if we can scout out some moves, do a couple switches, and, and see what we can do about that. But uh, Blaziken is a, is a monster. I, have, I think I have a couple things I can deal that can deal with Blaziken, but um, he's gonna be on that radar. Iron Boulder is a huge, huge threat. Super fast, second fastest thing on his team, and hits like a truck, man. Uh, I'm surprised. And this dude has three Paradox Pokemon and two Hoenn starters. Uh, something that I had to have a lot of fun prepping for. But Iron Boulder sitting at 124 speed with 120 attack stat. He hits fast and he hits hard without any items, no scarves or bands or anything like that. Uh, so he's on my radar definitely bring like I, I, if he doesn't bring him I'm gonna be like why <laughs> why didn't you bring him? Um, so I'm gonna look out for that uh, rock uh, Mighty cleave does incredible damage. Uh, if he, he's banded he can be scarfed. Yeah, he could be booster energy um, but <sighs> Him and uh, the next one man uh, raging bolt just Had a lot of fun trying to prep for uh, raging bolt being electric dragon type uh, great great coverage and move sets a, a special attacker um he can do he can calm mind up he can he can assault vest um with a couple weaknesses to to ground so far all three of his first uh pokemon are weak to ground so that's kind of nice to know um but ground ice weakness a uh, fairy dragon for for that guy um so something i can play around with um but for you know, the paradox mons almost guaranteed physical attacker for iron boulder special attacker for for raging bolt so uh, I, I didn't have that much trouble kind of prepping for them, but I mean, I'll say that and just get Molly Waltz by him, right? Then he has his uh, next one starter, Sceptile. Again, another mixed attacker. You just <sighs> gotta worry about that. Luckily, Sap Sipper Gudra can help me out with some Terra options. Low kicks, uh, great typing, bug and dark. Uh, first bug and dark to ever do it. Uh, with first impression, sucker punch, a lot of priority in that in that guy, but uh, frail, super frail, so something I can, I can deal with. Uh, Flygon being its Terra Captain with Terra Dragon, Terra Steel, and Terra Ice. Uh, I can't just click a, a Dragon move on that thing because he can, he can Terra Steel and resist it. Um, even Fairy, Fairy Dragon Ice, uh, all his weaknesses, uh, he can just Terra Steel and, and, and ruin my day. So uh, I have to scout out the Terras. I have to make sure that anything I can hit, it can hit him uh, all effectively. And then Glamora, if he d does bring it, if I do see it on that layout and the first six Pokemon I see, uh, that's going to be his, uh, his, his lead. Right, uh, he has Toxic Debris ability, set up Toxic Spikes when he gets hit. Uh, toxic Spikes, Spikes, he, he's the Hazard Setter. Um, an incredibly high uh, special attack stat, I think it's what, 1... Where is it at? 130, 130 special attack stat. Uh, he, can, he, can, he can tear through some holes and set up Hazards at the same time. So, um, I do have a plan for that though, I'll, I'll, I'll let you know. Namrus, the new uh, Legendary Genie from uh, the Arceus games. Uh, fairy flying type, stupid broken ability with contrary, and it gets access to, to superpower, so it'll boost its attack and defense every time it uses it. So I need to I need to look out for that. Then he has his iron bundle, super fast at base 136, the fastest thing on his team. Uh, hits incredibly hard with a special attacker as well with a base 114 special attack, just like Iron Boulder, super fast, super hard hitting, uh, but just on the special side. Great typing with water, ice, good coverage, flip turn for uh, pivot momentum. Freeze dry to hit uh, any waters. I think it can stand in its way. Uh, just a huge threat. Uh, love Iron Bundle. Love using it. Hate fighting it. Next he has Sableye. Good type combination with uh, Dark and Ghost. Uh, I like that combination quite a bit. With one weakness to Fairy. Uh, he has a Prankster ability as well. So uh, Priority, Will-O-Wisps, and Thunder Waves. I can already see those. Uh, tricks. Uh, you can trick an item to me. I need to look out for that. He's a Terra Captain as well. Uh, Terra Dark, Poison, and Normal. 
And then last, he has uh, the mascot of all Pokemon. He has Pikachu. Uh, not great stats at all. I don't even see this guy, him bringing it. I think he drafted it as like he had one point left. Let me just grab a Pikachu kind of deal. He has a Terra Captain as well with Terra Electric, Flying, and Grass. Um, but if I'm gonna be honest, I don't really see him bringing it. Even if he's holding his signature item, the Light Ball, um, I don't think he can put in that much work. So uh, not really prepared for that. Um, kind of, not really, but you'll see. Uh, so that's his team. Uh, super scary. Had a lot of fun prepping for this, man. I'm super excited for this battle. So let me go over my team, what I'm bringing, why I'm bringing it, and then we'll get started. And I have Urshifu here, uh, my Poe, with the Choice Scarf. Uh, that's going to be huge. He uh, should be the fastest thing. He should even outspeed Iron Boulder and Iron Bundle if they don't have a booster energy up or if they're scarfed as well. If they're just max speed, um, then I still outspeed with with, uh, with, the money, with my Choice Scarf. Rocking Surging Strikes. Drain Punch, Ice Spinner, and U-Turn. U-Turn for Pivot Momentum. Ice Spinner is going to be there for that uh, Raging Bolt, uh, the Enamorous, the Flygon. Uh, Surging Strike is going to be there for almost everything else. Blaziken, Iron Boulder. Glamora, if he wants to lead him with the Focus Sash and get some hazards up, uh, I can hit that with that and break the Focus Sash and hit it three different times and then knock it out. Um, Drain Punch for the Iron Bundle, uh, for the Low Kicks. So good coverage overall. Uh, and he is ma rocking uh, max speed, a little investment in defense, so I can take a hit from Iron Boulder if I have to. Uh, I don't have a good switch in for Iron Boulder, so if I have to switch in, he can take a hit, and uh, I can surging strikes or predict something else, U-turn, do whatever I need to do. Um, and then uh, investment in attack, attack, I have just enough attack, or even more more than enough attack to take out that Iron Boulder. It's just so scary, man. Next, we have my, my Guja here, my shiny Guja, my Marmalade. Uh, wearing the expert belt and that's gonna help me out with some damage calculations for, for some of the mons, some of the threats on his team and he's gonna be terra fairy this time he's gonna be my my uh terra captain he is my dedicated terra user he's gonna be terra fairy uh for the raging bolt for the flygon and for the freeze dry on that iron bundle we have draco meteor sludge wave surf and flamethrower draco meteor is there to hit everything it's just super hard except for the enamorous uh, and then a Terra, Terra Steel Flygon, really. Uh, the Expert Belt for a little bit of, a little bit more of damage for the Raging Bolt. Starts there for Blaziken, Iron Boulder, Glamora, uh, Flamethrower for any of his Terras that's not Terra Dragon. Uh, for Flygon, Terra Ice and Terra Steel, that's for there. For Sceptile, Low Kicks, and then Sludge Wave's gonna be there for Enamorous. And then a, a Sceptile if I need to, but mainly for the Enamorous. Uh, just some calculations. Expert Belt, uh, Sludge Wave does Oko uh, Enamorous if they have no special defense investment. Uh, which I don't think they will. We have max special attack and max special defense. Um, so we can we can hit some stuff and hit hard. Uh, I just want to drop a Draco on something. Hopefully get a knockout with the Draco Meteor. Um, so that's my Gudra. Next we have the debut of Trip here. My shiny Muck, my Alolan Muck. Wearing the assault vest to take a special attack from a special attacker. Uh, Hoenn starter, Raging Bull, Enamorous if you go special. Um, Iron Bundle. Iron Bundle is a huge one where I can take a couple hits and, and, and be okay. <laughs> Um, so the Assault Vest is super crucial for, for Muck. Uh, we have Poison Jab, Knock Off, Drain Punch, and Ice Punch. Assault Vest doesn't let me use any other move but an attacking move. So I have Poison Jab here for the Enamorous, for the uh, Sceptile. Good damage on the Blaziken and, and Raging Bolt. We have Knock Off to knock items off, and then we can have that for, for Iron Boulder if I need to, if I can protect the switch into Iron Boulder. Uh, and then uh, Save Life, I need to knock off anything like that. Light Ball and the Pikachu. Drain Punch for Recovery, also for the Iron Bundle and the Low Kicks if I need to. And then Ice Punch for Raging Bolt. Ice, Ice Punch is there specifically for Raging Bolt. Uh, I can hit Sceptile with, with Poison Jab, but uh, Raging Bolt, I need something to hit super effectively. And sit in front of it and take damage, that's why the Assault Vest is there, and I can deal a super effective damage with that Ice Punch. We have Max Attack for those attacking moves, and then Max Special Defense to live those hits from uh, Raging Bolt in the Iron Bundle. And then uh, it's ability power of alchemy. If someone uh, gets knocked out and I switch in, I can take their ability, so I can play with that. Maybe get a sap sipper from from Gudra or uh, aftermath from from someone else. Next we have my Skeletors, my Hermano, uh, with the citrus berry holding that citrus berry to get uh, some health back once it reaches below half. We have the same moveset as kind of last time. I don't know if that's gonna be predictable or not. We have torch songs, scorching sands, will o wisp, and slack off. Slack off for recovery. Will o wisp to cripple its physical attackers. Torch song to boost my special attack and hit. Uh, Hit a lot of things super effective like Sceptile, Low Kicks, and then Scorching Sands is going to be there for Blaziken, Iron Boulder, Glamora. So I thought those were really good moves to have, and uh, it hits everything else. Every anything it can't hit with uh, with Torch Song, it can hit with Scorching Sands. The only thing it can hit is Flygon with its uh, levitate ability. Uh, so if it 
doesn't tear if it stays dragon, then I can't really touch it. But if it does tear into like an ice or a steel type, then Torching Song, Torch Song really puts in the work. So that's that. Next we have my Corviknight, my shiny Corviknight, my birds up, holding the Aka Berry uh, to live any fire type that gets thrown its way, especially from Blaziken. Uh, specifically for Blaziken or maybe a Mystical Fire, uh, Enamorous. We have Brave Bear for the Blaziken, Sceptile, Low Kicks, uh, Iron Head for the Enamorous and the Iron Bundle. Uh, I don't see myself staying in, but if... Uh, but if they want to switch into an iron bundle, I can, I can iron head it. And then uh, U-turn for pivot momentum. Defog, if Glamour's on the team, I need defog. If I can't uh, prevent those hazards from going up with Urshifu or uh, anyone else, uh, I need to be able to defog. And last but not least, making another debut, we have Kaboom here, my shiny Electrode. Holding a Focus Sash to live on one and, and, and keep going. We have Volt Switch for pivot momentum, Thunderbolt. Mirror Coat and Protect. Mirror Coat's there for a last, like a, a break glass kind of scenario with the iron bundle and uh or raging bolt if they're steamrolling really any uh special attacker if they're steamrolling and i can't stop them i can live on that focus sash uh they can they think they're gonna kill me and then i can just mirror coat them and deal some massive damage massive damage back max special attack max speed modest nature uh he's gonna be the fastest thing he's uh, base 150 he's gonna be outspeeding everybody uh on their side so it's also a good scarf checker if someone's faster than this thing then i know it's scarfed um, and then aftermath, so if he does go down and deal some damage to whoever does take it down. So that's my team, you guys. Super excited to face Nastu, Coach of Grimstone, Reapers. Good luck to him, man. We're gonna have the the matchup tomorrow. Uh, I'm gonna uh, play the match in a few minutes, but the match will go up tomorrow for you guys. So go ahead and uh, check it out, and I'll see you on the next one. Thanks for stopping by.